Hey everyone, Son of Beast here, and I'm Wood Spoonie, and this is NBA 2K24 on 2K Sports. Everybody, Son of Beast here at What's Burning Hell. Welcome back to another NBA on 2K Sports. This is game 13, as we are proud to be approaching down to the NBA playoffs for the first time. That for right now with new commentators and for one of each as the season continues for a year on its new epic journey. This next matchup we're about to be seeing as Tyrese Halliburton take on against. Zion Williamson of the Pelicans and Indiana Pacers. Now this is one of our biggest guys that we are ever seeing. Both teams are in a playoff there trying to stay alive in the Eastern Conference and Western Conference, but there might be one way that they can try to handle the tackle. Well the question is, what can they do if they can try to keep it going? We'll see how they can do to try to keep it alive at that guys. Next now, here's the next commentator I have is Terry Crews along with Gangsta Beast and Tyler Beast. And your story lineups are on the board. We have his Tyrese Halliburton, Andrew Nemhard, Aaron Nesmith, Pascal Siakam, and Miles Turner. On the other side, we have his CJ McCollum, Herbert Jones, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, and Jonas Valanciunas. Let's get you down to Smoothie Kind Center. Enjoy the 13th game of the NBA on 2K Sports. In there, sorry, lineups for your missing team of the Indiana Pacers. And Shane Dollar, Andrew Nemhard. At small four, Aaron Nesmith. At center, Miles Turner. At the upper goal position, Pascal Siakam. And your point guard in position, Tyrese Halliburton. The head coach for the Indiana Pacers is Rick Carlson. Your starting lineup for your New Orleans Pelicans. That's sir, four. It's six six, number five. Herbert Jones. That's center, six eleven, number seventeen. Jonas Valanciunas. Guard, 6 3, number 3, CJ McCollum. At point four, Septillet, number 14, Brandon Ingram. At four, 6 7, number 1, Zion Williamson! Your head coach for the New Orleans Pelicans, Willie Green. Let's hear it, your noise for New Orleans Pelicans! Hey everybody, it's Terry Crews. I am here at Smoothie King Center. And tonight's game is Barbie in between the Pelicans and the Pacers. I'm Terry Crews with Gangsta Beast, Ali LaForce, and Tyler Beast. Tonight's the big group as Tyree Celebrant and Zion Williamson are the key of the guards, but CJ McCollum and Tyree Celebrant have a one of the great matchups. And this is where we are stepping in to the postseason. After they play in tournaments, we're about to find out who can take this field and make the win to crown it all. You know, I'm really loving that one here. There's going to be a lot of fans here, and this one's going to be exciting. Let's bring it on. 
with the ball tipped. As right now, Williamson and McCollum are ready to go. McCollum is on Valerie Celeberton. Then it's Miles Turner on Valentunix. It's blocked by Turner. Ben Ingram on Nesmith. Then Pascal Siakam, he has it on Valanchunas, and finally, it's Nemhard here on Brennan Ingram. You know, the way I really like to say that Pascal Siakam has definitely played here where the Toronto Raptors the last time he has been playing it. Since he was drafted in 2016, it wasn't his day that he wanted to be here for all of his teams. You know, the progress of that though, I was really concerned that there is a choice in between that they can try to keep it going, and maybe Siakam might have it all time coming down. Coming up with the win against the LA Clippers. There was a lot of great opportunity range, but there is a nice uh, setting of rebounds and also in between. You know, the guards are not always that helpful. You know, what they tell us, they do what they do. Because they, this is what happens now. They get it done, they can do what they have. It's a lot of hard rebounding and concentration that has it all down. They can't be losing it all their focus on the tax. They got to do it on their own. Here's Siakam after out of bounds here by the by the Pelicans as Nambard has the ball. He swings over to Siakam. Starts for three. That one switches in. That one starts off for the Pacers with the first scoring of the night. You know the problem with that one is? Siakam has been playing one of his better curriculum of his motion. Might have to go in between. Yeah, an easier save for Pascal Siakam. He may have his number uh, chance ability. If he wants to do it on his own, he's got to make sure he can get this right timing done. Ingram takes his first bucket here in the game, and now he has his first one in. Here's Halliburton. He gives it again to Nimhard. 5.13 left to go in the first period as they're looking over to beat their scoring drafts. Halliburton brings back to Nemhard. Nemhard swings it again to Nesmith. Nesmith, on a cut inbound, beats over Alan Judas. That'll be his first bucket for Nesmith. Nesmith is one of our biggest guys that we are looking at here. Just to make a score drop go easier than going over right, right between a very difficult obstacle range that he has been looking for. Might be one of his chances because, but you never know, you get it done that quick. After Brennan in goes bucket, here's, here's Sayaka. Gives a pass to Nesbitt. Back again to Halliburton. Halliburton wants to make a new change off here. He finds it to Nesbitt. Fades a shot. Down to five on the shot clock. Siakam up. That shot was too strong. Good D by Williamson. You know Williamson has to do all of his routine upward. He never wants to be missed out from his game right away. Here's McCollum trying to look for the uh, crossover move inside the middle. That rebound and put it in for the lead won't count in. That one stay out of the target zone. He is really looking over at defenders, trying to look up here. Now Nesman gives it over to Siaka. Siaka fires again. Halliburton decides to take the three. Oh, and CJ McCollum is no good. 3.35, left to go in the first period, Ingram on Turner. Watching in for the cut inbound, gives a good pass off to Jones. The screen inbound, watching in with the shot, that goes rolling in and out. Another miss by New Orleans Pelicans. Well, they're not shooting well enough, you don't want to make a missed shot out of it if you wanted to keep on going. Then Smith gives again to over to Nemhard. Nemhard on a cut inbound. That shot goes in with a float in drive. And the first assist comes here by Siaka. He has his first assist of the night with under three minutes. You know, that's a cut inbound when you know for Nemhard. That's an easier player in motion. The range is not always that difficult, but keep in mind, that's what happens to most of the players, that they can definitely try to cut in from here. With the shot, rebound here. Cover back up, and good! Valentunas have that bucket down! First timeout call by Indiana with 2.38 to go. That's where it starts off, because you know that the Pelicans coming in to start their attack groups. Now, for most of the predictions as we're wrapping things up in the regular season, let's have your takes here of who do you think will head in to the finals, guys? 
Well, you know what? I'm going to say Milwaukee's going to have to go back with it right now. You know Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's been definitely bringing the team back in here since 2021. It was the last part of the game edition that he has ever been accomplishing it with the goals, and I'm thinking he's going to do it again. Well, <laughs> I think the other side might be coming in down. What is your ever take? Well, my ever take, I'm thinking, you know what, I'm thinking that the Nuggets and the Bucks are going to be a great matchup here. Let's bring it on. Uh, I wouldn't say if I were you. Maybe I'm going to say is rematch again. Maybe the Nuggets and the, and the Heat. Maybe they wanted to do some a little bit more change up, but you know, I never get this thing really well done, but hey, you know how the day is? It's never going to be easy. Well, let's get and bring out the fact out there. I will say this. If there's a great win and opportunity, I won't have to care about that. <laughs> All right, well, let's see how you can definitely take over this. Might be one thing ahead. New substitutions are coming in for the Indiana Pacers and for the Pelicans. Four players are checked out. Four players are checked in, as McDermott, Toppin, Walker, and McConnell are checked in. The Pelicans also making new changes as all five players are checked out. And Marshall, Nance Jr., Murphy, Hawkins, and Alvarado are checked in. Watch out now because Alvarado might have it all with his coverage of the pointer. Let's see how he can handle it. Marshall back again to Alvarado. Nemhard holds a screen. Larry Nance Jr. wants to take it over to Alvarado. Decide to go for the arc. That first three pointer can't handle the mark for Alvarado. McDermott's got his first rebound of the night. We're under two minutes to go in the first period as Toppin give it over back again to McConnell. Now he decides to give up to Namhar. In the arc, he's fouled. That will be the first team foul for the Nova Pelicans as Hawkins is his first personal. Nemhart at the free throw line shooting two. This will be their first trip to the free throw line for Indiana with under two minutes. He hits the first free throw. You know, you say about Nam Hardy, he's really like all in pursuit. But sometimes, however, he may have a lot of his change off curriculum if he does it all. You know, it's a hard part of it because nobody gets it all down. They really wanted to get this thing showing. And you know, that's what the team does. They really need to count him for sure. Because it's not helpful. They need to do some a lot of a uh, quick step by step motion. That's how they can handle it. Second free throw, good for Nemhart. Nemhart's got his second rebound, second point of the night with under two minutes. New Orleans trailing by three. He gives it to Lance Jr. Lance Jr. takes a step and he takes a dunk. After a rebound put back, he'd never seen that one going. Oh, that's what happens now because, you know, TJ McConnell will have that one ball taken away, but Larry Nance Jr., he took the ball right away instead. That's a great recovery on that one here. They're looking to pass the gas right away to read the arc on the stamina to have that to bark. Another shot comes in for Indiana. TJ McCollum with his first bucket. It's 11 to 8 score. Alvarado in the corner. McConnell around it. Alvarado, what a step in drive. That will be his first bucket with one minute to go. Now McConnell will give it over to Walker. Walker, give again to McDermott. McDermott wants to help for a screen. Cut in, Vic. With the shot. Over oh, Walker, what a pass by McDermott. That will be his first assist as Walker has his first bucket. You know, when you give it this shot to look, he wants to try to avoid this. He made that one an early attempt at you that he had to do that one right away. But thanks to the, uh, thanks to the screen we give her, it's a give and go moment. You gotta hit that off, and you have it all. Walker, what a block rejection for Indiana with 30 seconds. Oh, that's when you know that Walker does that. You have to hit that mark and get it out of here. What a play. Larry Nance Jr. is checked out, as now checking back in for the air player as Cody Zeller is on the court with 30.5 seconds.
Now, here's Hawkins. 600 shot clock. Carter is going to at the screen, and he makes it in. That will be his first bucket for Hawkins. Just under 30 seconds left. McConnell trying to look for her. Give it to Walker, and stolen by Zeller. First turnover for Indiana. Watching from outside is Alvarado. 10 seconds on the first period. Zeller, another screen. Looks it over to Zeller. Tries to go for the B. Alvarado, will he do it? And it will be off the mark. Close call on the first period as Indiana Pacers are up ahead. 13 to 12 over on the Pelicans. We'll take a short break and we'll come back to this game after this. What a rejection for Walker and Turner. Those two guys have it all. Keep on coming down. The defender gets hard. We welcome you back here as we're about to get this thing started for the second quarter. Now let's say what they could do. Indiana Pacers haven't been clutching back in the postseason since 2018. That was the last one of his appearance, but they were all been dominating it down. Let's have your look in between those two, guys, of how they did for Indiana. You know, the hard part about this, this is not what they always do. Without Victor Oladipo, they really are starting to show who they are. But they have really been knocking it off. They really wanted to make that one feel good and possible. They were never going to get away with that point because they are really up to a full pressure. And maybe they wanted to get back in the playoffs. Let's see how they can handle it. Five on the shot clock. Nesbitt for two. That rolls in and out, and the foul's called on Miles Turner. That'll be his first personal on Cody Zeller. Now coming on the court will be Balanchunas. He will be checking in for Zeller. Here's McCollum. He will have that ball in position. Now gives it Jones. Williamson on Siaka. Cutting back. Oh my! Williamson in the center and showing it to stop on Siaka. That's a big powwow moment. Gotta hit the mark if you can do that. Siaka trying to look for a revenge out here. Here's another cut. Oh, yes, you can. Pascal Siaka with five points. Now they're back up ahead. Keep on coming down because Pascal Siaka may have it all, but you're never going to win it if you can do it again. Ingram step back. The two's off the mark. Siakam's got his first rebound of the night with only under six minutes to go. Here's McConnell. Give a pass to Nesmith. Nesmith carrying to go back over again to Siaka. Great ball movement for Indiana. Now swings back to Siaka. Six on a shot clock. McConnell. McConnell up. The shot. And the mark is good. McConnell with his second bucket. As Pascal Siaka with the number six. That's two in a row. You know in early range they need to do some a lot of like a step-by-step -step motion. That's because of Pascal Siaka. He's been doing all of his tricks. He really wants to get that pass over angle, try to get that assist down. I mean, that's what you do. Try to do it done, try to get it off to a target range. For last night, he received 13 points for Brandon Ingram and only had seven assists in this game. Only one steal was made. It's all what happens, but he's been doing the best. Keep on going if you want him to do it again. Free for next minute. That missed the corner on the outside. Coming up with a loss for TJ McCollum against Chicago, he had 16 points. You know, the fact is that they really do for all the certainty ideas, they really wanted to get that win a struggle. But that answer to this question says that TJ McCollum has never been really keeping an eyes on here against uh, Zach Levine's team and, of course, Kobe White. For the last game of it, it was not that worth it. They really have to keep on it going. And there is no excuse or anything. They, they really got to step it up. They can do it on their own. Siakam, cut and dry. Missed the target. Now here's Ingram. Trying to look for a tackling lead up. And it's over the head. It turns it over to Indiana. Now the Eastern Conference standings, we have a look in between. Indiana pushing their way into the playoff session, trying to beat over to stay alive and get back in for the first time since the longer season that they missed out in 2023. 
Now, I never noticed that they really wanted to get back in the playoffs. Let's see if they can handle this on their own. I would love to see them do it again. McCann up pass to Halliburton. Halliburton up at the shot. It's good. Tyrese Halliburton finally receives his two points of the game with just 3.45 to go. Hey, that's what you always do. When you're set to go, just give it a shot. McCollum on the call. Here's Jones out the arc. Free ball in. That one starts it up and he tied it up by 19. Williamson with the assist. 325 left. Let's keep rolling. If you want to do it, show it done. Oh, Siakam finishes the drive here. That'll be seven points of the game. And now they're back up ahead. No questions you want to do because Pascal Siakam wants to get away with it. Timeout called by New Orleans Pelicans. They'll have to talk things over with 313 to go. As of right now, we're nearing the approaching down to the first half. We've got a halftime show coming up later with you. As of right now, we have our one of our bigger crews as we are about to be seeing what goes on. Right now, as the other side of it will come along, we've got is Ernie Johnson with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaq O'Neal. That'll be the next game ones to check out the first half of this game. Right in between of Indiana and New Orleans Pelicans for 2K Sports. That'll be coming up after the first half is completed. Two substitutions are on the court. That's right now. There are a couple players checking in and a couple players checked out. Here's Ingram. He's on McDermott. Here's Hawkins. Out for three. Misses the target on the outside. You know, he was trying to handle it all. He's sure he wants the three-pointer badly, but that's not going to happen. The foul, and it's called on Valanchunas. That'll be his first first ball and their first team foul called on New Orleans Pelicans. You know, when you don't get a good drive out of it, you don't get a good look pocket here. That's what nobody does. They don't want to get that one offended. That's because they can't handle this that much. They can't leave it all their own. They either have to do it again. Jackson at the free throw line shooting two. Hasn't been able to be scoring in one of his teams since the last game of the loss. Misses the first free throw. Now it's a new substitution coming onto the court as three players to check in. New substitution for the for the folks that, that will be changing over from Nance Jr. We have a couple players on the court. One shot left for Jackson. Can't be missing again if you could do that one on the roll. And he makes the second. One and two for Jackson with under three minutes to go. Here's Alvarado. We'll start things off here for right down on the side. Going in. Oh, what a cut move by Alvarado. He has another bucket score. There's no other options that you could always say to Alvarado, and I will step down. Here's Nesmith. Takes the finish with the dunk, and this one goes back up for Namhard. They are no way asking. Nemhard just have to dunk it. They want to silence the crowd and start off with the first half. They really got to get there. Here's Marshall. He wants to do it. That shot doesn't handle that off as another miss comes up for New Orleans Pelicans. Nemhard swings back to Siaka. Now he gives off to Nemhard. Nemhard gives back to Siaka. On a cut phase. That shot misses off from the corner. You know, the hard feeling about Siakam, he doesn't get that one on his own. He didn't want to get defended already, but he has to do this on his own to get a right timing and get it done. 
Oh, he would have had that one tied up already. That would have been a counter three-pointer. Now Siaka has that ball. He wants to give off to Namhar. Fade the shot. Looks to Siaka with the two. It's good. Good shot here for Siaka. He has nine points. And Nemhard with the assist. Now they want to do it again. Alvarado watching here on Ames Jr. With the shot, he's fouled. Oh, that's a hard takeout as Jackson receives his first. And it'll be their first team foul for Indiana. That'll be his first trip to the free throw line. You can't mess up on Nance Jr. if you do it. First trip coming up for Larry Nance Jr. will be the first trip for the New Orleans Pelicans at the free throw line shooting two, passing 90 seconds in the first half. He hits the first free throw. And to say about Larry Nance Jr., he's been one of our biggest in the earlier games after his uh, contribute year by Nance that uh, has been playing it on the other side. Well, that's what happens now because Larry Nance Jr. has been really like a great player to be going for anybody that wants to do it for, for all the ages. He loves doing it himself. He likes to have his own treatment and he can definitely shoot it any time with his teammate. That's like a lot of hard percentage here for Larry Nance Jr. Show him how you do. Let's give that one a good spot, in fact. He's been playing it so long. After playing with the Cleveland Cavs, he now wants to give it over. Now I want to go with the Pelicans. Let's try it out. Here's Billy Dermott. With nearing the final minute in the first half. Halliburton up at the two. Oh, he does it again. Halliburton with the second bucket. After Doug Dermott's with the assist, here's Alvarado. Nance Jr. finds Murray. Murphy. Off the shot, another foul called on Jackson. He had a piece of it, but he just fouled. Oh yeah, that was really late. That was really late what happened because Murphy was going to take the cut, and he had that ball, but he got unlucky. That one called him earlier with the foul, and he knew he would have to rough him out. Second chance for the free throw coming up for the New Orleans Pelicans with under one minute remaining in the first half. As Murphy's at the free throw line shooting two. First free throw sent in for Murphy. Now Pascal Siakam will check out as Oni Toppin checked in. And for Jackson also checking out with Walker. Pelicans are also making new changes here as Nance Jr. is checked out and Zeller will come back on the court. And he hits the second free throw. Pacers lead by three. Here's Walker. Wants to do it again. The other, oh yes sir. You can count that one in there. Back to second bucket of the night. You know the hard feeling about Walker, he may have it all coming down, but let's keep it on to its rhythm. He wanted to do it on the road. Can hit the mark with the layup drive as Toppin gives it back to Nemhard. 30 seconds left in the first half. He now has it again to Halliburton. Halliburton swing back to Toppin. Toppin up with the shot. It's good! Toppin with his first bucket with 21.6 seconds. It's still up ahead, 32-25. You know the hard thing about it, Oni Toppin? He can't lose it all. Zeller for three! This is a target. There's no way that they can handle that because Cody Zeller would have knew he would have that shot wide open. Halliburton to close the arc, and he does it! Halliburton closes off with the first half. 34 to 25. That's what they do. They can't leave it off with the open gap. And we have some time now to send you over to Ali LaForce and halftime shows up. Ali. Well, I'm here with Coach Rick Carlisle. A hot start. Coach, what did you like about this team's execution offensively? Uh, we're making some shots. Uh, we lose the ball well at times. You've got to be careful about having the ball stick when they're doing this. 
Good luck with the ball movement in the second half. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you, Allie. Please stand by for the halftime show. We'll be back with the third quarter after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. For the Pacers, the first quarter was pretty even. They ended the period holding on to a slim one-point lead. It's fair to say that the second quarter belonged to them. They've now got a nine-point edge heading into the second half. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Pacers? Well, they've shown a lot of discipline at the offensive end. It's not about getting the quick shots, it's about getting the good shot. And if you want to know how that approach is working, just check out their field goal percentage. And Kenny, what do you have to say about the Pelicans? Well, the best way that they can get back into this game is to show up their rebound. They need to perfect second chance points and fight. I mean, fight to get their own. If they can do that, this game still is in. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Glad to have you back with us as we welcome you back at Smoothie King Center on 2K Sports. Let's have a good call in between. Pascal Siakam has an all cover in. He's been one of his greatest. After playing with Toronto, he's with Indiana. Oh, the hard fact about it because the Indiana Pacers really knew it looks like almost like Victor Oladipo, but it didn't really appear to go with the wrong to proven the idea of Siakam. He really wanted to do it all and show him what the fact. Yeah, I really love his effort. His ultimate tempo patient has been uh, terrific. And outstanding can definitely mean like anybody can be like him. But as you always know, it gets tougher when you do. Shot goes in. Starts off with the first second half as Nembhard has got eight points. McCollum, he's ready to take his own time. We'll give it over to Valanciunas. Back to McCollum. Covered up by Siaka and off with the shot. Williamson, another crazy dunk down, assisted by C.J. McCollum. And you know how to slam that dunk down? I mean, you gotta show him what you've done. Here's Turner to end the arc. Good shot range as Turner will have his first bucket. As for Philip Burton, he's been getting all over his sister right now. He has four. Looking to get one if he can try to stay alive in that game. McCollum for three. That goes nowhere as it misses off the target. We have a reporter from Allen Little Force says, oh, it has to happen. Zion Williamson with his coverage of this one turned to be all for what his composition has. But it doesn't happen to be one of his better routine. And he does all what everyone cares for. Well, it's a hard thing that he needs to do. Pascal Siakam, gotta show up and you gotta hit that bar power. That's what happens. They need to do some quick bite moves. Nice throwing for another Zion Burman. I like that. Now Williamson is right into the corner now. Step back on the two, no good. Miles Turner has his fourth rebound of the night and they will give it back over to Halliburton. 5-13 left in the third period, looking to get more shots. Here comes Turner, shot, good, out range in. That second bucket goes in for Turner. A starting closing of this one can never fear you down. Miles Turner, glad you have it back. Jones for three. That misses off the target. Halliburton has his uh, first rebound of the night, and he will have to give it over again to them hard. Herbert Jones only has three. Still quiet so far, but he's looking to get three on the other side if he can make it in. That's what no one does. They can't leave that mark open gap. They can't let that one get away with you. Oh, what a shot by Nembhard, as oh, never assist goes to Halliburton. He's got six assists in the game, and ten points for Nembhard. What a playmaking crew. That's because the Tigers of Burton wants to show it off. What a rookie make. Jumps. Outside the arc. Ingram for three. That shot outside. Another miss here by New Orleans Pelicans. Here comes Siaka, and he's coming in and bucking it one. Pascal Siaka showing face of love and stays quiet here as the foul call on Zion Williamson. 
That's what you don't do. You don't hit that mark, you don't let it pay off. Namhart's checked out as TJ McCollum's checked in, as Siakam at the free throw line shooting one. And he missed that shot. Only two points made in for Siaka with under four minutes. McCollum up. He doesn't go in there. Ingram up. Good D by Turner. As you know what Turner does, he made that defensive possible. But it's no other ways he cannot try to slow it down. That's because nobody has that questioning with an open look. They have to hit it off the mark. That misses way too much with the layup. I don't know if it was rejected by Siaka. But do you think that wasn't a rejection? I don't know. I don't think he did. He must have had that one and lost that ball. That's what's going on. Alan Burton with the two. Trying to hold on to it, but it misses again. Oh, they're starting to go tired right now. I mean, this is what nobody does. They can't lose the pressure. Here's Williamson. Another dunk slam down. What a showdown and a showtime roll for Zion Williamson. That's what you do. Zion Williamson, let's show it again. Now, pass to McConnell. McConnell covered him, and now Siakam on the outside. Zion Williamson on cover. He finds Nesmith. He now wants it to Caliburton. Free on the shot clock. Range for Siakam for three. It's good. A swish in for Siakam. Has 14 points. And Nesmith with the assist. New Orleans Pelicans decide to give their timeout with 2.32 to go. They have been crushing it. It looks like the visiting team does it for all. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by Sour Patch Kids. Sweet, sour, gone. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything with fast, reliable, and secure. As we're winding down with the regulation period of the season, let's have a look at the reg regular season schedule. Next week, we're about to be seeing for our next team, as we're about to be seeing the never crazy matchup of the Western Conference. This time, it all calls for Portland Trailblazers against the Spurs. It's another team battle range in the Western Conference area, and looking to see if they can handle it all with their pressure. Following up with the last game is a showdown in the Eastern Conference, as the next one appears for the last one in, Heat and Celtics. You know I'm ready for nothing? Because I'm here for the Eastern Conference to see what they can do. For this showdown, let's show how it's done. A couple players are checked in and a couple players are checked out. As Alvarado makes the three-pointer. Pacers on their way. And a pass is stolen by Nance Jr. Here's Marshall to finish yet. Oh yes, you make the drive in. And we are down to two minutes. That's what no one does because Marshall, you can finish the drive and show the fans with some love. It's a pass to Walker. Walker trying to go back to McConnell. He passed out to McDermott. McDermott passes over again to McConnell. Fade the shot. Walker over to Ange Jr. Oh, that one got pretty hard enough here, but it's missed again. No foul called on New Orleans Pelicans. Well, it's because you're clean right now. They want to have a little bit more room to have that one, so they don't want to like go dirty on them. They really wanted to like show them off. There's just a lot of them, but they can't handle it. Walker, unbelievable! That's another rejection for the bench teams. Bench points and their score runs. That's what nobody cares about that because Walker got it going. And Walker, here's that Halliburton shoots over Zeller. Another miss by Indiana. 60 seconds in the third period as Alvarado gives it over to Hawkins. Is up and good! What a shot by Hawkins! 
Nick Dunham with the foul. Another free throw chance for the Pelicans. With under one minute. Now for the new visiting team as they're giving a little new change off. And Murphy will be checking in for the Pelicans. Now Alvarado will be checking out with one shot left. Hawkins delivers it in. It's a 49-37 game. And Alaburton, here's McConnell. Finish the up. The arc is no good. Hawkins have that rebound and now give it back to Marshall. Marshall back to Hawkins. Looks back to Zeller. Smith on him. Dish off to Murphy. Zeller off with a two. Gotta get it back. And he's fouled. Rolls off the rim as Walker has his third personal foul. I don't know if that wasn't for but that must have been his first personal. No answer. They can't let that happen. They do not want to interfere this again. If they do it, then it's going to be a bigger problem with that. Now with another free throw coming up here for Murphy as he's at the free throw line. Ready to take it here. And he makes that shot. All goes everything. Try to look for a number of close calls in the period. Right now, two players are checked out as Halliburton and Smith are checked off the court. Nemhard and Toppin are checked in. Hits the mark. Here's McConnell with 30 seconds. They lead by, their lead has been cut down by 10. Toppin back to McConnell. McConnell steps back, finds Nembhard. Nembhard swings again to McDermott. McDermott to finish the run, and he makes a drive. What a show off he is. And that's McDermott with his first bucket. They're back up by 12. That's what nobody cares. McDermott got to show some response. Three second violation calls on Walker, as they will have to put up a one on one shot, and they will have the Pelicans with their possession. That's a little mistaken out there. Don't want that. You can't let that happen if you can try to like keep it off. Hits the shot. And now with a new substitution coming in. As right now, Jackson's checked in. He only has received two fouls in this game. And now he's willing to try to stay away from his foul situation in trouble. McCullough, can he do it? Oh, he lost that one as that ends the third quarter. 51-39, still the place to be. Indiana Pacers up by 12, and we will get ready for the final quarter. No way possible enough. Third block of the night for Walker. Let's raise it up. Show the crowd with some response. Let's get it done. All right, let's have a moment look at State Farm Assistant again. You know, the easier way I really like to say it is that they are going right from the, between the digits and the number range for the deep pass. He got pretty good at it. I mean, they were really off to an offended angle, and that's what happens to Siakam. He does it all for his best. Great pass here for Albert, and keep on going. Three quarters are finished, but this is the final quarter. We start things off with the last group in lineup. Jones is on this fifth. Van McConnell, he's on Malanchunas. McCollum on, on the top, CJ, CJ McCollum. And it's Ingram with the free pointer on the outside of a range on Jackson. And it's also with Smiles Turner. And finally is, of course, you all, David, the number nine Smith. As Nembhard has it across. Start things off. Nesmith for three. Swish it in. Nesmith with five points. 
and that one turned to the extension. Up four to another two points to a three point marker. Ingram for three. Good! A range on the other way. Puts it up as CJ McCollum bringing it back down. That's when you can't handle that one. This is what they do, this is what they don't. Here's an error pass to Nemhard. Nemhard give to Jackson. Jackson give back to Nesmith. A lot of ball movements here for Indiana. Down to six on the shot clock. Three for McConnell. Pulls it in out. Jones with another rebound with 5.43 to go. McCollum give pass back, stolen it up. Valanciunas recovers. Jones for three. Good! Range outside puts it in for the two. Timeout called by Indiana. With 5.32 left, it's a 54-45 game. Oh, you can say that now, that Jones keep it alive. But now with a new substitutional, as now Siakam's checked back on the court with Tyrese Halliburton, as Ian Jackson and McConnell are checked out. Now Halliburton will try to swing over to Siakam, over Williamson, good! Siakam with 16 points! He's like uncrushable! He's never quitting it here because that all happens because Siakam knows it all. Now McCollum, deep three for Jones! Another missed three-pointer made as Nemhard has that rebound now give back to Siaka. Here's Turner. Turner dish off to again to Siaka. He finds a pass to Nemhard. He wants to try to stay out. Now back to Nemhard. Six on the shot clock. Bounce pass to Nesmith. Over Williamson. It's good. Nesmith with seven points. And Nemhard with these six. That's what happens when the pass comes in there. You know you're going to have a lot of hard time, and you don't want to get away with that. Two-pointer makes it in for Valanciunas. 4.30 left to go in the fourth quarter. It's a 58-47 game. Trying to handle it all. And now he swings it off to Siakam. He finds a screen. Siakam, again! Misses! Williamson with another rebound. Siakam watching the cover. McCollum for three. Another miss by the Pelicans. Oh, they're feisting it in here with another three pointers. They're trying to look for some help. Well, this is what happens they don't do. They don't get enough three pointers. They're trying to let the, leave the gap out of it, but they can't have a little. They don't want to lose it or under focus, but this is what they do. Try to stay in the top, get the cover. Nemhard up to in a range. It's Nemhard has 12 points. And it's Nesmith with the assist. Oh, he's been crazy. It's a crazy one for Nemhard. That's when you notice he's on a streak. Has 12 points. McCollum again with a number three pointer. They're back down by 10. Oh, they're keeping it easy now because CJ McCollum never quits. Siaka holding off for, for number two. And Siaka wants to make some new changes. Now he finds Halliburton. Shot clock winding down. Go for two. It's good! He beats the shot clock. As Halliburton has ten points in mid-range for four. Oh, he has nobody helping. If he doesn't have anybody uh, to cover it out, looking for open passes, just go for the shot. Take it off when you can. Yeah, he's been moving really well. He doesn't want to do anything. Try to get it out of here. And what a rejection by Turner! And a layup in for Halliburton! That's another two-point, another shutdown comes in as another turnover releases on New Orleans. Oh, uh, they're like keeping the gap out of here. They don't want to lose them. And a two puts up for Ingram. Timeout call by Indiana Pacers with 2.28 to go. Nearing down the end of the quarter, 64-52. They're looking like they wanted to see what they can do to try to stop and buy. We'll have a little bit of a sidetrack, and we'll get the commercial on, and we'll get right back into the game. That far possible square, let this be a runoff to make a go on count. That's what they all do. This is what they happens. Another rejection for turn. Wow. 
That's two blocks. And now it's time to reveal your New Balance player to get. Alpha player, and it all goes to Pascal Siaka. You know, Pascal Siaka, he definitely has been doing it a lot of this face out to take all of his credit. But because they all do, with a lot of great strength. That's what he does. For everybody, you can definitely beat him. And yeah, I have a lot of feeling for Pascal Siakam. He's been gr grinding him for his best on his shot. What a guy. He passed 230 to go. Here's Halliburton. Tries to do it again. And man, oh man, Harry Halliburton has 14. He silenced the crowd here. It's now a 66-52. Beyond 22 minutes on the court. My goodness. Ingram. Screen on Valanciunas. Trying to hold up a man. And McCollum has it outside. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of the period as New Orleans Pelicans trying to look for some answers. McCollum up for three. No call back. Turner with his seventh rebound of the night. He now gives it again to Nesmith. Nesmith gives again to Turner. Turner with the shot, and he does it. Turner with his six points of the game. And another one for Nesmith. Now here's Valanciunas. The pass back to Billy Cullum. He goes in, spins around. Pass to Valanciunas, another block by Turner, that's number three. He's tied up with Walker. Oh, you could just take that ball out of here, reject it from his hands. You have to do it on your own. And then Mark finishes with a drive. Timeout called by New Orleans Pelicans with a minute and 15 to go. It's a 70-52 game. We'll hold off to a side here, and then we'll get that one fast break. Here on the court, might be looking for the team to get into the playoffs this time. Well, you know what mascots can definitely say is we want to bring it to the playoffs. I mean, that's what they all do, boost the attendance up. Maybe they might do it for all. But that's all that happens with that tonight's game. Keep on going. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local key dealers. A moment that inspires. Starry Lines. And by State Farm. Call or get a free quote at 1 800 State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We're always here with you. With the new substitution, as all the players are checked out, and all players are checked in as, as Zeller will give it off to Ingram. For number two, it's good. Zeller with a three with the assist, and that's a three-pointer made. I don't know if that was a three-pointer, but he definitely got lucky enough. He made it. Now Halliburton give to McConnell. He backed again to Siaka. One minute left to remain in the fourth quarter. McConnell up, and oh, here is no foul on the Pacers. As Siakam had that one dish off to get. Oh, if, if the referee would have signaled an offensive foul, that would have been a problem. But he never did. That would have been a coach's challenge, and there would have been an absolutely an offensive foul. They can't handle that pressure that much. Now again to McConnell. McConnell gets to Turner. Up to Zeller, and he's fouled. Zeller with his first personal. And only 33 seconds left to go. It is a 72-55 lead. Turner at the free throw line hasn't been able to do his free throws ever since he played with three quarters of the game. But now, his time is now at the free throw spot. Knocks down the first free throw. With now with a one last substitution here for the Pelicans is now Ingram will take a seat, and back in again is Marshall. And he knocks down the second. Here's Marshall. 30 seconds left to go. 
Hawkins for three. It's missed again as Zeller has it. Another miss by the Pelicans. And the time is ticked down. They'll have to end it here with a win on the road. That's what they do, let the clock wind down. Good night, Nola Pelicans. Halliburton back to McDermott. And Halliburton will close this game here. Final score, 74 to 55, as they destroy the Nola Pelicans. And it's all for everything. What a great game has come. Pascal Siakam, Miles Turner, Walker, you name it all, they've done it great. That's what happens now. Let's show them off. They're responsive and get to playoffs. Chance now to send you over to Allie LaForce for the closing player of the game. Hey, Allie. Pascal, these days you are called upon to carry this team. Does that bring added pressure? We forget about love and, and, and I just want to have fun to play the game. And I think, you know, I got to just beat myself. Like, don't get lost in, in everything going on. Be yourself. Play basketball. Have fun. And, you know, um, I'm just happy to be able to go out there and play hard. Guys, he wants the pressure. Thanks, Pasco. All right, Ali, thank you so much. And I'll wrap it up, folks, with me, Terry Cruz, along with Gangsta and Tyler Beast. This has been a presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports with Ali LaForce. And we'll see you all again for the next game. So long, everybody. Terry, thank you. As we already know that the Indiana Pacers has been taking down the New Orleans Pelicans. This is one of the biggest night of the night, and I can't even tell you that this one's turned to be all for everything. Yeah, exactly true. That is the craziest. Nobody has ever seen the moment. And for Pascal Siaka, without the Raptors, they're finally bringing him in for the Indiana Pacers. Here's how he did with the total games and statistics. Not too bad in between here for the, those two teams, but three points and free throws. Fast break points got a little bit of a long, long up with a great start for the New Orleans Pelicans in the first and second half. Second chance, bench points, not bad at all. Offensive rebounds was only seven, and steals was only three for the New Orleans Pelicans. And tour dunks were before. That's all because of Zion Williamson, and definitely, yes, you can't mess them up with the players. Of yours true, of Zion Williamson, the big impact. And for Pacers, They've only had fast break-in points for the points in paint with 32, with 29 assists, 27 defensive rebounds, 5 blocks, biggest leads, and then it was happened to be the time possession with the field goal range. They have done the best of they can. Yeah, I guess they're doing really well. We'll see how well they do in the postseason. Now it's time to send you off to you, Woodsbury, for three star players of the game. All right, thank you. Third stars, we're going to give that one a start off to for Brandon Ingram with 12 points, one rebound, two assists. He made that one a good and possible strength in this goal curriculum. Does it all with two three pointers, five out of ten field goal range, 17 performance effort. Only has done it for once. Now, one to number two, that's Tyree Celebrate and Angnam Hart. Definitely have it all coming down. But the more impact was Halliburton with 14 points, three rebounds, nine assists. 7 out of 10 field goal range, and he only had 32 performance. What a great effort and helping the point guard inbound. And for your number one star, this goes with all for everyone. And yes, you name it, Pascal Siakam, your New Balance player of the game, with 16 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists, 7 out of 13 field goal range, only had done 2 3 pointers, 26 performance upward, and can't be believing. From the Raptors to Indiana. That's a great way to make the impact of it, and this one's all for everything. Pascal Siakam wants to bring your team in the postseason. Oh, yes, they do. So I hope you all enjoyed the game. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and also follow me on my social media and click the bell icon on notification so you don't miss out on the new latest videos on its way. It's the best way to support for the channel. And definitely true enough. We'll see you all later for the next game, as we see the Spurs and the Trailblazers in San Antonio, Texas. We'll see you all again for our next NHL and NBA. This is Son of Beast along with me, Wood Spoonie. This has concluded. We'll see you all for the next game, right in between of the NHL and NBA once again.
Peace out, folks, for a while. That's the NBA on 2K Sports Style. This is Son of Beast, and I'm out. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great night, and we'll see you all again soon. See y'all. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.